Every time Jump processes a meeting, it's going to choose a default meeting type that we have set up in Jump. For example, this meeting with Alex Entz was a discovery intro meeting between the financial advisor and the client, so Jump processed this meeting as a discovery intro meeting. If you'd like to reprocess this meeting, click on the reprocess button, and from here you can change the meeting type to another one of our default types that we have set up in Jump, or you can keep it as the same meeting type and give Jump additional instructions. For example, you may want your note to have a bit more detailed discussion section, and you may want your recap email to be a little bit more concise. So we could go to the reprocess button, type in the instructions. When you're ready, click the reprocess now button and Jump will remove the previous note, recap email, and tasks that it generated, and then it'll produce new outputs and take into account the additional instructions that you provided it. Just a word of warning when you use the reprocess button, be aware that it is going to clear everything that it wrote out for you previously, and that includes any edits to the notes that you made. So I don't recommend making any changes to your note until after you've finished reprocessing your meeting. If you find yourself reprocessing meetings a lot, but giving Jump the same additional instructions, then I would recommend reaching out to our product specialist team, and we can make changes to the default note template and recap email template that's associated with each of these meeting types, and we can also create new meeting types with new note templates and new recap email templates as requested by your team.